Hey guys, it's Ro. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be making one of my favorite recipes and I wanted to share it with you guys. And if you've been liking these recipe videos, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, click subscribe, and ring the bell to receive notifications every time I post a new video because this year I am gonna be baking a lot and sharing some of my favorite recipes and family recipes with you guys, including the one today. Now today's recipe is one that is beloved in our home because everyone likes it. And you know that if you have a lot of different people and they got a lot of different food things going on and you don't want to make a dish three different ways, this recipe may be a winner for you as well. So today we are going to be making cauliflower chickpea tacos. So this recipe came about in our house because my sister Molly, she can't have dairy. She's lactose intolerant, huh Molly? Sadly. And Mama Mia has been a vegetarian for a couple years now. And me, I'm a foodie. Okay, it has to taste good. Long story short, this recipe has no dairy, it is vegan, and it tastes delicious. It does all of those things, which in this house is a win. I'm gonna stand by this, but with this recipe, I did not miss the meat in a taco because it's very hearty. The garbanzo beans and the chickpeas I have protein and the way the cauliflower is seasoned and the sauces we make are so good. Didn't miss it delicious and it's rare when those things happen and when that happens I like to share a good recipe so let's make some delicious chickpea cauliflower tacos let's get started I make this dish with two sauces the first is a vegan lime crema and I'm gonna be putting all of the ingredients and their measurements in the description down below so if you'd like to follow along at home you can and to make this we're just gonna throw everything in the blender so it's super easy just scoop into your blender we've got one cup of vegan sour cream quarter cup of cilantro Want all those leaves, none of the stems, and two tablespoons of fresh lime juice. Oh, this, oh, that, get, there you go. Get in there. Lastly, a little salt and pepper to taste. I'm just gonna put a little bit in here. I didn't measure these before. I just, I just go with my heart. <laughs> my heart tells me that that's good. Just pop on the lid and blend it up till it's well combined. Ooh, looking good, smelling good. Now I'm gonna be using a little piping bag for more control, so I place it into a cup and then I'm gonna pour the first sauce in here. The sauce is a little bit runny and that's why I like to use a piping bag to like do an artistic, like chefy garnish, but you don't need to do that. You could just take a spoon and do a little drizzle if you'd like. Just to note, the sauce is supposed to be thin, it's supposed to move even if you substitute the vegan sour cream for a vegan yogurt, which you can do, and I will put that measurement in the description down below. If you're at the store, they don't have vegan sour cream, but you find vegan yogurt. That also works well with this recipe, and it won't affect taste. They taste very, very similar, and it's great. I'm gonna tie this off, set it aside, and let's make our second sauce. The second sauce that we're gonna be making is a vegan Southwest sauce, but it's basically a spicy mayo, and we're using vegan mayo. This is the brand that I'm using today, but Follow Your Heart is another really good vegan mayo brand. They taste delicious. Also making these sauces is totally optional. If you want to skip any of these, they do have like vegan options, like spicy mayo sauces at the store, but I had these, I'm making it fresh. In a schmedium bowl, we're gonna mix together all of these ingredients. Again, I'll link to all of them down below. I'll start the sauce off by adding the vegan mayo, then add the white vinegar. Now here come the delicious spices. We've got a little chili powder, garlic powder, onion powder, ground cumin, fresh lime juice, and cayenne powder. Then once again, mix together until well combined. I'm gonna be using an electric hand mixer just to make things a little bit easier, but you can use whatever you'd like. Yum, 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 yum. So, so fresh, get in my face, yum. Oh yeah, that's what it's supposed to look like and smell like. It's so spicy, my mouth just started drooling. It's watering, it's just salivating. It's like, is lunchtime. <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna scoop this again into a piping bag, but if you'd like to keep it in a little bowl like this and then drizzle it on your tacos, you can do that as well. It's your kitchen, you can make those decisions. Those are, you can do whatever you'd like. I just like to do this because when I get hungry, I get a little messy, so the more control for me, the better. <laughs> also, I'm gonna get every drop in this bowl because I like to put this on everything. This is so good. Why is spicy mayo just everything? Spicy anything, like a spicy ranch? Oh, it's better. Oh. Can you imagine this on fries with cheese? Oh, oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know what you could do? The, the baked potato with cheese loaded with drizzle this on the top. Yeah. 
Every drop, every drop. We need every drop. I think I have got it. Oh no! <laughs> A drop! No, we must save it. <laughs> you know, that's just, that's clean. Oh my gosh, yum. Oh, perfect, it's perfect. Chefs are supposed to taste it's my kitchen. I know my kitchen's clean, so I'll do what I want. <laughs> I'm gonna have that taste, that's for me. <laughs> the sauce is all done, I'm gonna tie this. Then I'm gonna pop this in the fridge with the other sauce where we cook up some tacos, yes! Now it's taco time, let's make some tacos. You're gonna need one can of garbanzo beans, which are chickpeas, and one medium-sized cauliflower. And I've already washed it and cut into two-inch pieces, which are like called florets, very fancy, but basically two-inch pieces, that's what we're going for over here. You want it to be a good bite size. Now, for the garbanzo beans, though, we are gonna wash them over the sink, so I'm gonna get a strainer and and gently rub together to take off the skins. I do this because it helps with flavor and texture a lot. Now, if I am eating vegan food, it needs to be like restaurant quality, okay? I have to really enjoy it. And this one step is an extra step, but it is worth it. Now you can skip this step, just cook the beans as they are, but this will make a big difference with flavor and texture. So if you are as picky as me, a foodie, this is a good step to do. All right, so let's head over to the sink, the cauliflower's all ready, and wash these guys. Pour one can of garbanzo beans, chickpeas, into a strainer and run under warm water for two minutes. While the water is still running, rub the beans together vigorously in your hands to get off those skins. Then take your skinless beans back to the baking station. We've got our fresh chickpeas. We've just rinsed off all of the skins and then you're gonna pour them into the bowl of cauliflower. Pew, 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 just like so. Oh no, one's hanging on! Beep. Get in there. Okay, there you go. <laughs> I'm just gonna move this over here while I mix up some more spices in a medium or medium sized bowl. I'm gonna mix together chili powder, ground cumin, garlic powder, onion powder, some salt, lime juice, oil, and water. Another little spicy mixture over here. Then mix together till well combined. Oh, the flavor! Molly, can you smell that from feet away? I'm so hungry. <laughs> Molly's like, talk faster, bro. We gotta make, we gotta have lunch. <laughs> okay, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. Now let's bring this back and pour over the top. Get in there. Then toss together until everything is evenly coated. I'm gonna be using a big wooden spoon to do so, but you can use anything, spatula, your hands, I don't know. What we're making here is our meat replacement. It's got great texture, it's got great flavor, it's got protein, so just make sure to get everything coated. Now it is time to bake. Line a baking sheet with a piece of parchment paper and lightly grease the surface, here we go. Pour your cauliflower and chickpeas evenly on top of a baking sheet and evenly spread them around just like this. Give them some space. Yeah, 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 like that. Perfect. Now you're gonna pop this in the oven to bake at 400 degrees for about 25 to 30 minutes. While that is baking, I'm gonna mash up a little avocado. I love avocado as a topping, so this is just a little extra to these tacos. But how can you have tacos without avocados? I just can't, I, it's just not right. To cut an avocado, you just go all the way around, boop, 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 like that, twist, boop, pop, just like that, perfect. And then you've got this pit right in the middle, this is what I like to do now. Be careful, don't get your fingers with the sharp cutting knife, I just, just like that, and then pop it out of there. Boom! And then we're gonna cut our little avocado. I like to cut little cubes, so I just hold it on top of the cutting board again. Be careful, don't get your fingers. I cut some strips this way. Go hot dog, then hamburger. And I'm just feeling all the way down. All right, we've got little cubes like this. And we're gonna scoop them into a bowl. Oh, and sometimes I just eat them just like this. I'm just like but today I'm gonna share. Oh yeah, we scooped out all the good stuff. Yum, 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 yum. <laughs> Avocados are so good for you. They have so many nutrients. And I can't believe when I was growing up, I didn't like them. What was wrong with me? I thought it was a vegetable, just like this gross green vegetable. And I was like, I'm never gonna eat those. Then I grew up and I tried them and I was like, these are delicious and they're kind of creamy and it's almost like a weird like cheese, like, but it's not. And then it's like so good and it's, Mmm, I was missing out. Now using a fork, just mash it up. 
for this topping, I'm just gonna keep it simple. You could add stuff to it, but I'm just gonna put fresh avocado right on top. Once this is mashed up, we're ready to assemble our tacos. Just pop this out of the oven. It's still very warm, but not hot to touch. And welcome to the delicious taco bar. Now I'm gonna show you how to assemble one of these delicious chickpea cauliflower tacos. And I'm going to destroy them with my face. I am so hungry right now. <laughs> Molly, I should have had a bigger breakfast. That seriously, the yogurt with granola did not hold me over. To assemble these, you're gonna start with your tortilla. I like the smaller tortillas. They're just easier for me to eat because I'm small. <laughs> See, it's a perfect size. And heat up your tortillas. You can do this on the stove or the microwave. That's a cheat, but make sure that they're a little warm before you serve them, okay? I'm gonna be using corn tortillas because I love them and I love the taste. But Mike, my boyfriend, he likes flour tortillas, mm. which are delicious, but I think they're a little too sweet. And then they also have tortillas that are half flour, half corn yeah. for when Mike and I have to compromise. But today, since I'm cooking, we don't have to compromise because I'm making them. So Mike has to eat the corn tortillas. But Mike used to like these. Yeah, they're good. Okay, all right, let's put this together. Now I'm gonna put this here. I'm just gonna assemble one. And you're gonna pick up some of our chickpea and cauliflower, put it right in the middle, just like that. I put it on first, it's on the bottom, like the meat. Put a little red cabbage on top, gives it a little crunch, great texture. Now drizzle both of your sauces on top. I grabbed these out of the refrigerator, and I'm using a piping bag so it can look real, Mike, look at this. Look a little Michelin for ya. Nice. Drizzle the other one. I like to do zigzags. Pew, 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 pew. Yum. A little scoop of fresh avocado. You can use a little spoon, but I like to use a little ice cream scoop because it's perfect. And don't forget to squeeze a little fresh lime on top. And I know what you're thinking. Bro, there's already lime juice all over here. There's already lime juice in, in, the, in the sauces you made. And I'm like, yes, there is. And I love lime. So just a little. Just just a little, just a, just a little bit, just like that. All right, and there you have it, that is it. All right, mm? Mm. I couldn't even wait to the end of this video. Hold on just a second. It's so good. I'll be back in just a minute. I straight up ate that whole taco. <laughs> All right, I'm about to open the road taco bar. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, click subscribe, and ring the bell to receive notifications every time I post a new video. And I'll be posting pictures of this recipe and the recipe on all the different social medias and my website, so please go check it out. And if you guys make these tacos at home, please take a picture and send it to me. I love seeing your baking creations. They just make me happy, they make my day. And whenever I make a good recipe, I love to share it. So I really hope you guys try it and fall in love with it as much as we do over here. This is a recipe that's for everyone. And if you guys have any other ideas of any other kind of videos you'd like to see, whether they're baking, cooking, or something fun, let me know in the comments down below because I'd love to do them. I'd love to make them happen. This was really fun. I don't think I've done like a cooking video in a while, but it's baking. I mean, we baked them. So there's baking involved. It's baking and cooking. <gasps> okay, thanks again for watching. Bye-bye. And if you'd like to watch any other videos, you can click up here or up here. And while you're doing that, I'm gonna make more tacos because I don't think I made enough. <laughs>